converts conversion of pictorial view into orthographic views. Here you can take this first problem, very simple one. Let's see how we convert this uh, picture into views. First you see the direction is very important. Here the direction is clearly specified that you have to view through this. This direction should be taken as the front side. So obviously this side comes to be the right side view. If the direction is not specified, you are free to choose the direction. Otherwise, we stick to the direction. Another point is that we, get, we give preference to three views. The first view is front view, then the second view is top view, third view is right side view. So choose your direction in such a way that the right side view should be visible. That's the idea behind the putting this as a front side and this as the right side. Now, uh, you just uh, see the measurement and take the skeleton out of it. First step you draw should be the blocks, just three rectangles with overall dimensions. For that you have to read uh, this, uh, this bag completely and find out the length, breadth, height. Now let's see the length. You see here, you have got uh, this length as 25, the remaining length as 25. So the overall length comes to be 50. Take uh, the overall length as 50. And you see, you have the height. Here the smaller height is 5 mm. Here it is 30. So the overall height is 30. Now you take the breadth. Here the breadth is in terms of 3 fives, 5 plus 5 plus 5. So 50. So choose this block as 50, 50, then 30. Normally the highest comes first, then the next largest value, then the smallest value. Anyway, first draw the front view. To draw the front view you need this length and this overall height. So you do the block just uh, take the height and uh, the required length. The block is tight. Whenever you draw the diagram, you place the dimension as well. It will be easy for you to follow. So that you will not miss the dimension. You can add uh, this dimension somewhere away. The height of uh, this block, the dimension is 30 mm. This height is 30. Then this overall length is 15 mm. Now, once 30, 50 is taken, you should not read the dimension here. You have to consider this as final 30 and final 50. There is no business of taking 15 once again at the top view. So what you do? Just to project uh, this 15 to get the top view. Just project this. Now place uh, the 15 in order to get the top view. The next dimension is 50, 50. Now finish the block uh, for the top view. The block for the top view is now ready. So write this as 50. The divisions can be written later. Now having taken all the three dimensions, you are supposed to take all the dimensions from these two blocks only. You are not allowed to see the view anymore. So use guidelines, use guidelines from the front view for height, take uh, these projection lines for height. Very important is that you add one 45 degree line, this line will help you a lot in getting the details from the top to the side. First uh, take the topmost line and project it get the skeleton of the side view and go to the next line 
S touch this the project base so that it touches the 45 degree length at one place. So you can now easily get the 50 mm length that is available in the top view. Now it is transferred to the side view. So the skeleton for the side view is also made ready. Now look at the object. This is skeleton. We need not give dimension for this because 30 is already available here. 50 is already available here. So what you do now, you look at the details. The first detail I can see is a keyway. It's a throw keyway. You can understand from the object that there is a throw keyway which is of 5 mm breadth and 5 mm depth. It's into the object by 5 mm. The depth of the slot is throw. It's about 30 mm. So try to place, try to locate this uh, detail, say 50 into 3 pipes. You get this, then your one detail is now ready. So project this detail to the front view. Anyway, this particular slot keyway is not available when you view through this direction. So you just convert this as a dotted line. So this can very well be dot converted as a dotted line to mark that the detail is hidden. So the beauty is that use the same pattern for the next line also so that these two lines coupled together represent the same detail. You have got lot of rules regarding hidden lines, better use a good textbook to draw, to know more about the hidden lines. Whether a hidden line should intersect another hidden line. What is the procedure to overtake one hidden line by another hidden line. So now let us move on to the side view of this particular detail. So take the help of this 45 degree line, it's very very crucial. Don't forget to draw this 45 degree line then it will be disastrous. Your diagrams won't be meaningful. So this is the beauty of it. You got now the details, the representation of this slot, both in the front view and in the side view. Now look at the object again. Okay? You have a detail, a slot, that is better visible in the side view. Initially we have drawn the block. The first block is drawn here. Then we have projected this. Afterwards, the side view block is drawn. The second step, we introduce this slot in the top view, not in the front view. Front view gives you only detail projections. So you project it and get the detail. Then with the help of 45 degree line, the slot is represented here. Now, you try to put this slot on the side. Go to the side view, partition this 50 into 2. You will get 25, 25 each. So, better partition this into 50, into 2, 25. Again, you measure this height of the slot. Remember, it is in the left side and not on the right side. So, obviously, you will get uh, the slot. It's a blind slot, but it's not a throw slot. Remember that you get one rectangle. Then come to the chop view. Go through this, drag this line, bring it here. Now understand to top view, you have only 5 mm width, the remaining is 10 mm. The slot should go to the right side. So make use of this distance 5 mm, don't go for a separate measurement. So now that the slot uh, should come to the right side and not to the left side. The slot uh, is represented by two rectangles. One is this rectangle at the top, the other rectangle at the side. So the idea is, when you use this 45 degree line, it will definitely guide you, so that you, you will not be misguided, you will not uh, interpret the details in a different, in a wrong way. So remember, always you have to make use of this 45 degree line. So now that you have the representation, of the slot on both side view and top view. 
Again, you project this, you will complete uh, the data related, the picture related to this in the front view as well. So make use of this type, how you project this type. So obviously, the slot is at the right side, so here also you have to have the slot at the right side. Remember your dotted line not touch. You see you have one dilemma whether to have the dotted line or dark line. Here you have dark line, so give priority to the visible line. Then the reminder can be made with the dotted lines. You can very well guess by these two gap that there are two dotted lines. They represent the slot that is available here. So there is no confusion, so you can finish this feature now. So what was the first step? The step first, step one was just uh, we have drawn the block. First this block, this one, then with 40 body length to draw that third block. Then we started with that top view slot. We have projected and we got the detail in the front view. Then with the help of 40 body line, this cutter line is finished. Afterwards, we started the detail in the side view. We have projected this and we got the right side rectangle. With the help of this right side rectangle and this rectangle, we, we arrived at the final rectangle. So this is the final picture. So you just make all the visible edges are so dark. So that it will be visible. Now the idea is, now try to add the dimensions wherever applicable. You have taken the dimension, you have to place the dimension here at appropriate place. That is very very important. So, don't go for 15, you give the break as 3 fives. You can even put some dots over here. Just put some dots and uh, you mark them as 5 each. So you get the first five, second five, third five. Similarly the depth of this slot can be specified here. It can be five amount. Remember you have the length of this uh, slot that is 25 total 50, here you have 5, so the remainder is 20, it's obvious. Then you have uh, the total height 30, the smaller height can be taken as 5 mm. Just try to cross check uh, all the details, just cross check the height, 5 plus 25, 30. Then regarding breadth, 5, 5, 5, 50. Then regarding length, you have 5 plus 20, 25, 25 plus 25 is 50. Now name these views, just with good writing, you can very well specify here this particular view as front view. This is front view. One that is available at the bottom is top view. As per the first angle projection, the left side view should be placed at the right side. The right side view should be placed at the left side. So what is available here is right side view. Write it as RSV. After completing, you just go through the lines once. Sometimes some lines uh, may not be dark. All the visible edges should be dark. Ensure all the visible edges should be made by dark line. All the hidden lines should be made dotted. There is hidden line and uh, dark line. On the same place, give priority to dark line. Leave the hidden line. Ensure the naming of the views. This is friend view. Give fire on letter height. Let this writing be very neat and good. No need to put stylish letters. Use simple letters. 
is a spread view, this one is top view, and this one is right side view. 